Hi guys, it's Monday. It's um, a full body fusion here at our Legree at home for our Instagram lives. Welcome guys. We still have a few minutes till we get started. I just wanted to check in and say hi and tell you what equipment we're gonna need for this workout and what our intention is for today. Um, I'm one of your lead trainers, Stephanie, here at Studio Legree. And uh, we're gonna be working on our full body today. There's gonna be some upper body with some core, some obliques and our lower body. And we're gonna be doing things a little bit more combination today. So arms with abs, arms, abs, and lower body. So still gonna be a good Legree stack, a good Legree burn. Uh, what you're going to need for this workout is a slippery floor surface. You might want to have a mat for times when we're sitting down uh, for extra cushioning. You can always double up the mat if you have any sensitive knees or anything like that. You can always do that with your mat. Make sure you have got a pair of slippery socks that can slide easily on the floor. But if you don't have that, um, you can use some hand towels. We're going to be putting them under our arms. You can put them under your legs as well, and your feet for when we slide. I want you to have a long resistance band here today of some kind. If you can make loops in them, even better. Okay, they don't have to, but you might want to hold on to the loops as opposed to wrapping it around your hand because it can get a little bit crampy in the wrists and the hands. So grab onto whatever resistance band. If you have different tensions, have them nearby in case it's not enough. You can also choke up on the resistance band if you need more tension. If you need to have a chair nearby, for support and balance when we're doing some leg work. Grab yourself a chair and just have it nearby so in case you need it, you can grab it. All right, so we still have a minute till we get started. Just remember to take care of yourself today. It's Monday, not that that means very much, but Monday, um, just the beginning of the week, starting from fresh. If you've been tuning in with us these past couple weeks, um, you probably realize we've done a lot of our moves that we do at the studio here without the Megaformer. And we're going to be doing a lot of those same moves, finding our slow four count for each move. And finding the intention of just slowing everything down, feeling the muscle we're trying to work, and trying to get to that muscle failure where legs are shaking and burning or whatever. Okay, so that's our goal today. We're turning the music down. Alrighty guys, so we're gonna get started here in about 10 seconds. I want you to set up with your hands on the floor or the mat, but I want your feet on a slippery surface. We're gonna start in a plank. So once you've got your first plank, hands are on the floor below your shoulders. Step your feet back, bring them together and lift up your heels. Okay, I want you to straighten your spine. I want you to squeeze your legs together and squeeze your butt a little bit and tuck your tail. Okay, I'm going to lift your low belly, ribs toward hip bones, chest slightly open here. Keep your neck long, hold it here for 10. Spread your fingers, hold it. We're going to pike our hips up to the sky. So we're going to go into a bear first in five. Knees are going to bend in halfway in four. In three, arms are strong. You're going to bend your knees and slide your feet in for four. We're here for one minute, in for three. Come about halfway in. Don't bring it all the way in, don't rest. Inhale, straighten your legs for four. Inhale, straighten your legs for three. Yes, we're dragging our feet, but I want the lift to come from the middle of your belly button up toward your spine. Try to keep the form and the back nice and flat. Okay, so you don't want to arch your back here. Tuck your tail slightly. Scoop right at the end. If you have any issues, you can come to your knees or come down to your elbows. I know there's a lot on the wrist here. Next move goes right into plank to pike. You still have 20 seconds. Slowly out for four. Slowly out for three. Remember, we're trying to find a slow count here. In 10. Legs are gonna stay straight. We're gonna lift our hips up. So it's very similar to that bear, but we keep the legs straight in five. In four. Lift up those hips in three. In two. Keep your arms strong. Lift your hips up for four. Come about 80% of the way up here so you're not standing on your feet. Keep those heels together and high. Go down on your inhale for four. Okay, you're gonna feel your shoulders burning a little bit. If your wrists are biting you, spread your fingers, grip the floor, lift up for four. Lift up for three. Lift up for two. And one, go down for four. Three. When you're piking, try not to lean forward to get your fingers over your fingertips. Keep shoulders lined up on top of wrists. Okay, think of ribs to hips, 
a little scoop, almost like you're folding in half right at the top. Squeeze your belly button up. You have 20 more seconds in this pike. We're going to put our knees down on the mat and our elbows down onto our towel for a saw. All right, so you're going to find some padding under your knees. You have 10 seconds. We have one little bear squat in five. Hips up halfway in four. Three. Lift those hips to the top. Hold it. Little bend in the knees. Come one inch up. Squeeze those abs. Up. Just the abs. Up. You're going to grab onto your towels. Put them under your elbows in five. Squeeze four. Three. Finding our saw in two. All right, a little break for our wrist. I like to double up the mat and put my knees on the mat. Elbows are coming on your towel. Okay, if you've got two towels, put them under your elbows. If you have one, just place them out. I want you to send your body out into a plank. Squeeze your butt, tuck your tail, lift your ribs up and push into those elbows. On your inhale breath, send your arms out for four. For three. Okay, we're not going for maximum distance. We're going for maximum tension in our belly, not our neck. Your exhale, you pull in for four. Do it slow. Remember, the breeze really slow. Three, two, one. Send it out. If you want to try this on your toes, tuck your toes under. Lift your knees up off the floor. Your range will be a little bit smaller, and that's okay. Just keep the breath flowing. Keep the movement going in the shoulder hinge. If you ever need to take a crunch, just to stretch it out, give yourself a crunch. That will turn this into inchworm. We have 30 seconds left. Go slower than you want to. One saw, one crunch if you need. Nice job, guys. We're going to come onto our toes for our pulse. All right, so you're going to come up onto those toes in 15 seconds. We're going to do little tiny pikes with the abs so that we don't get into our neck. In eight, seven, Six. If you can, you're going to come up onto your toes. We're going to do little pull-ups with the abs. In three, two, tuck your toes under. Can you lift your knees up? If not, don't worry about it. Send your arms out halfway. Lift your belly button up and down. Up and down. Ten. We're going to come into tabletop. In six. In five. We're going to go into a bird dog. In three, two, one. All right, guys. Come on to hands and knees here. You can be on your mat totally if you want to. I'm going to tuck your tail, lift your belly up, send your left leg behind you, and your right arm forward. Okay, so this is kind of a warm up. We're not going to use any resistance here. I just want you to lift, you know, lifting and curling in, keeping your back flat, elbow to knee, and then straighten out. That's it. Keep long in the spine. If you want a little challenge, lift your right knee, sorry, right toes up off the floor. This will get a lot more oblique work. If your left wrist is bugging you, lean back a little bit and take a bit of pressure off of your wrist. All right. So think of imagining both sides of your body staying long. You don't want to crunch into one side here. We're going to be here for another 15 seconds, and then we're going to sweep our arm and leg out to the side, just like we do when we do our scrambled eggs. Okay, without any tension in eight, in seven, in six, we're going to sweep the arm and leg up to the side. In four, in three, ready, straighten that right arm and leg, left leg back, sweep it to the side, and hold it. Okay, you're going to feel both obliques working here. Start to pulse up and down. Ten, nine, eight, we're going to the other side. In seven, six, keep squeezing that right oblique here. Five, four, three, two, let's switch. Right hand down, left arm forward, right leg behind you. Start long, lift up your belly, and then start to crunch for three. Lift and crunch the belly for two. Squeeze wrist to knee, send it back. Three, two. The slower you move, the harder this gets. If you want to lift up that left toe, if it's not too much pressure on your knee, challenge your balance a little bit more. 30 more seconds, we're going to sweep it to the side. Okay, so the left oblique is being challenged here. The whole system of balance is being challenged. Our core's already warmed up. We're gonna be lying on our back and doing a dead bug after this. So it's very similar to this, but we're gonna be lying down. It's gotta be slow to be effective. 10 more seconds, we're gonna straighten it out and sweep our arm and leg out to the side. Long and straight in five, 
and four. Nice and tall in that right arm. Three, two, straighten everything out. Sweep it to the side, keep the form consistent. Shoulders and hips balanced, start to pulse, right leg up. You should feel this in this left oblique. You're gonna lie down on your mat in five, in four, dead bug position, in three, in two, and one. All right, guys, lie down on your mat. Right away, lift your knees up to the sky, right on top of your hips, lift your arms up. This is the same position. I want you to tuck your tail and print your spine on the floor. Belly pulls in. Keep the focus on the crunch of your abs. Left leg reaches out, right arm reaches behind you. Go really slow. No sacrificing your form. Your back should not come off the floor here. Squeeze up for four. Okay, there's not tension here, so I just really want you to feel the work happening in your stability. Left arm back, right arm, sorry, right leg forward. Inhale, breath. Get long, long, long. Exhale, scoop the tail, crunch it in. If this is not enough for you, both legs go forward, both arms go back, but you keep the back on the floor. Okay, look at your belly for a sec, keep it flat, don't let it tent up. Crunch up. That's it. 30 more seconds like this, go super slow, close your eyes, get into the stability of your core. 10 seconds from now, we're gonna hold it out. We're gonna get both legs straight for some leg lifts, coming up. In five, in four, legs together, in three, in two. You can have your hands up to the sky or down the floor for support, lift your legs, Keep your abs engaged. Lower legs for four. Squeeze them together. Three. About 45 degrees. If you need to go lower to feel it, keep your back on the floor. Lift for four. When you lift, don't bring it all the way up. Keep the tension on the lower abs here. Inhale. Down for four. Down for three. You want to come into a little crunch? Feel free to come up. We're gonna hold it in 30 seconds. So go as slow as you can. Find that shake. I'm shaking right in this position. Slowly scoop it up. Ooh. If you're not shaking, you're probably moving too fast. Remember that Legree four count. Down for four. Down for three. Down for two. That's it, guys. Keep breathing. 10 seconds. We're gonna bring it down for a little hold and a pulse. Inhale, coming down in five. In four, tuck your tail. Three, hold it on that shaky angle. Hold it here for five. In four, little up, little down, one inch. In three, in two, up, one down, one inch. Ten, nine, we're gonna finish off by opening our legs and reaching through. In three, last 30 seconds. In two, lift your legs, open wide, reach through, crunch. Inhale. Come down, 30 seconds left guys. Reach up everyone, reach through those legs. We have one more pulse in 20 seconds. Okay, keep those abs focused. We're grabbing onto our resistance band for a reverse tailbone angel after this. We're gonna be seated, holding onto our resistance band. We still have 10 more seconds, one pulse. All right, we're gonna reach through in five. Shoulders off the floor if you can in three. In two, open the legs, get those shoulder blades up, reach through, and pulse forward, just from the abs. Ten, nine, grab your resistance band, you're gonna hold each end in five, a little higher, four, three, two, amazing. All right, try to keep the burn going, you're gonna sit up on your bum, bend the knees, hold on to both ends of the resistance band, you can double up on it if you want, roll the shoulders back, lean halfway back and open the arms for four. Try to get your palms to face each other. Three, relax your neck. Two, if your hip flexors are dying, just cross your ankles and sit up and focus on the back a bit more. Well, amazing job, guys. So when you close the arms, try not to lose tension. So I'm not letting the band go relax. You're keeping the tension, you're keeping your neck long. If you're leaning back and you wanna go into that full range tailbone angel, tuck your tail, roll down, maybe lift your feet up. 30 seconds to go. That's it. Remember, the control comes from that slow four count on the way back up. Lots of core. Amazing job, guys. 15 seconds. We're going to pulse it. 
and then we're gonna put our feet in the middle of the band for a tailbone bicep curl, all right? In five, we pulse these arms in four. In three, come halfway back wherever you are, hold it, open the arms to the side, one inch in, one inch out, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, tuck your feet in front of the resistance band. You can hold on to those two loops you made or just grip onto your resistance band. Lean halfway back, lift your elbows, curl in for four, curl in for three. Okay, the further you lean back on your tail and the harder this gets for your core, if you just wanna focus on the biceps, double up on your resistance band, curl in. That's it. If you have a heavier band you wanna work with, feel free to start to curl. We're here for 30 more seconds. Every time you come in, I want you to squeeze the bicep to the forearm. If you wanna lift your feet up and get a little bit more tailbone balance work, we call this one a tailbone bicep curl with our black cables when we're on the machine. Ready to pulse in 15 seconds, go slow. Remember it's four counts to straighten, three counts to straighten, two counts to straighten, shoulder heads back. Ready, 10 seconds from now, we bring it in and we pulse. Give me one more slow rep here. Whew. Your core should be on fire here in five, in four, bring it in for your pulse in three, and two, curl it right in. Squeeze your biceps, squeeze it to the forearm. Go one inch up and one inch in. Eight, seven, six. We're gonna roll down in five. One vertebrae at a time, little roll downs in three, two. Open to 90, hold it. Tuck your tail, roll down for four. Feet can be on the floor if you need. Three, relax your neck. Two, one, resist up. Four, three, crunch. 20 more seconds like this, guys. We're gonna do one more thing in this position. We're gonna put both handles into the left hand. We're gonna go into a single arm row with the left arm, okay? You have 10 seconds, one more pulse. We're gonna punch the sky. Try to release the tension in your neck and your shoulders. In five, we pulse in four. In three, come up to the top, maybe halfway back, little punch. Both hands are gonna hold on to that left, sorry, into the handlebars in three, two, and one, all right. Put both straps into your left hand, release your right foot and just lift the left leg up. I'm gonna double up or triple up on my resistance band and start to pull the left elbow back, okay? So if you need to, you just take that right foot underneath you. This is gonna create an anchor point so that we can pull and work our back, all right? So we're now working on the left shoulder again, left back, bicep stays under tension. And if you want to add in here a little bit of oblique work, pull your left elbow back and then start to rotate to the left. Okay, the further you go back here, the more oblique has to work. Slowly unwind and straighten the arm about 80% of the way. Okay, so this should feel like tension under your left armpit. We're going to be here for about 30 more seconds. Slowly resist back in. Nice job, guys. Slowly in for four. Find the twist. If you want to get both feet up and that works for you, go for it, my level twos. You have 10. We're going to pull it back. We're going to twist it and pulse it. In five. In four. Keep it up, guys. Three. In two. Pull that left elbow back. You need a little twist. Pulse from that back of the shoulder. 10. We're going to come up onto our knees. In six. Keep that foot on the bungee, on the resistance band. We're gonna come into a kneeling position in three, two. All right, guys, so I want you to keep your left foot where it is. Tuck your right knee, sorry, right toes under, come into a proposal position and go into an upright row. So what this looks like from the front is I'm kneeling and I'm pulling my left elbow out to the side in line with my shoulder. If it's too heavy, unwind a little bit, pull up for four. Okay, so if you feel this is great for you, stay here. If it's not, just pull your elbow back a little bit. Palm faces the floor. Lift for four. Okay, for those that want to take it up a notch, tuck your back toes under and just hover your back knee. All right, slowly close. We're all going to do this soon. 
All right, we're going to take this into a pulse in 20 seconds. So warming up the back of the shoulder. Keep your hand on your neck here so you don't uh, bring it up to your shoulder if you need that reminder. 15 seconds. We're all gonna tuck the right toes under and we're gonna find a twisted row with our lunge. That's coming up in five, in four, in three. Pull that elbow, pulse it up, 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 in five, four. Tuck your toes under in three, two. Tuck your right toes under. Take your elbow back close to your body and start to straighten up and stand up. Pull your left elbow behind you. So now your elbow is pulling back. You're going into a split lunge. Usually we're holding on either to the red cable or the black cable if we're on the carriage. And we're pulling and twisting as we come up. So this is a variation of super lunge. You're bending your left knee and you're pulling back with that left shoulder, little twist. All right, slowly come down. Almost there. We're gonna get a little break from this left hand and get both hands in our resistance band again. 30 more seconds. Play around with the resistance. If you need more, just. If you need less, release a little bit of tension. How's your left neck and shoulder? 20 seconds. We're gonna hold the arm back and pulse the legs, okay? So when you stand up, you're pulling back, you're inhaling, coming down. You have 10. You have nine. Keep that shoulder down. We're gonna hold it up in our twist in five, four, three, two. Pull that left elbow back, twist your body slightly to the left and just bend that left knee and up. Think of warming up that left leg. 10, nine, eight, seven. We're gonna unwind here in five. In four, keep going. In three, in two. All right, guys, keep your foot where it is. Take all your hands onto the resistance band like you've got your straps, finding it some deadlifts. So balancing on your left leg here, straighten your right leg, balance your hips, lean forward for four. Straighten that back leg, turn the toes and knees and hip down. Curl the arms up if you want a little bit more. Slowly push down through that left heel. Come up. If you want to kick that right knee up and extend the leg, that's so nice too. That's it. Roll the shoulders out. Keep the belly engaged. Don't let your right hip lift higher than the left one here. Try to keep them balanced. Squeeze your left butt. Push through the heel to come up. That's it. So you can be on your mat. You don't even need your mat right now if you don't want it. All right, now if you do need a chair, instead of using these bands for balance, use your chair, have it in front of you. 20 more seconds here. If you wanna get a little bit experimental with the arms, find a little chest opener, bicep curl. 15 seconds. Abs tight, chest long, spine long. We're gonna lean forward in 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Lean forward, belly engage, back leg straight, hold it. That's it, little pulse with your arms, wherever you're doing, maybe curl it. Five, four, three, little bends in that left knee, in two. Down one inch, up one inch. We're gonna find an elevator lunge in five. It's gonna feel like an express lunge because we've got our cables in three, in two, and one, all right guys, put that right foot down, lift up the right heel. You should be on a slippery surface with your socks or a towel. You're gonna sit back in that left hip, use the arms as cables as balance, but a little bit of counter resistance, come down to the bottom, press up for four, press up for three, press up for two. You are pushing down into the left foot to come up. Okay, you're sliding your right toes back, reach back with the center of your right big toe mount, reach back. Hug your inner thighs together. Stand up four. Stand up three. That's it, you should start to feel a shake. We have about 35 seconds before we hold this. Remember to move with your breath. Remember what we're doing here. We're trying to find muscle failure at some point at the end. So that shake that you're feeling, that Legree burn, is real. That's what we're going for. 
All right, 20 seconds, we meet at the bottom. We're gonna find some carriage kicks. Almost there, in 10, nine. Push through the floor to come up slowly. The glute is doing most of the work. Three, in two, everyone come down to the bottom. Lean forward slightly, stick your bum cheek back in space. This is where you might use your chair if you need. Otherwise, you curl the arms, you pull the back leg in for four, three. Think of reaching your left hip back, right hip forward. That's it, curl in for four, curl in for three. 20 more seconds, don't stand up. I know you want to. We're gonna stand up together. Keep breathing, that burn is real here. You have 10. In nine, we're gonna stand up for eight counts. You have 20 seconds left here. Five, four, three, Right leg straight, lean forward, come up for eight. For seven, go slow, even slower. Six, five, four, I know guys, three, two. Squeeze your butt cheek, go down for four. Slow, three, slow, two, slow. One more time like this, up eight, up seven, up six, up five, four, three, two. Last time, come down for four, slow, three, ready to pulse, in two, come down, push your left hip back, go one inch up and one inch down for 10, for nine, for eight, for seven, six, we're gonna turn to the side, in four, we have a heady skater, in three, two, all right, wherever you're facing, put your right foot into that loop that you made, or if you've got a single band, put it around your left foot and your right ankle. You're gonna squat down into that left hip, push out with that right leg for four. So now you're gonna feel your outer glute a little more. Imagine you're leaning against the wall on your left. Kick that right leg out. If you need more tension, move your band a little closer together so that there's more tension as you kick out. Okay, what this looks like from the side is my left knee is on top of my ankle. I'm sitting my hips back in space. I don't want you up here. I want you down here in your squat. All right, this is where you get, might want a chair in front of you if your back feels any weird tension. Keep the belly engaged. Try not to arch your back or round your back. 30 more seconds, push out for four. So as you're kicking, feel the resistance building in that left glute now. 25 seconds, bring in slowly. Keep the tension on the band. Adjust as you need to. As you push into the floor, kick away slowly. 15 seconds, we hold it out. Keep breathing through this. One more thing to do here. We got some pulses. In 10, nine. We're gonna burn up these outer thighs soon. In five. In four, stick your butt cheek back a little further. Send it all the way out and bring it one inch in. 10, nine, eight, seven, one inch in, one inch out. Five, four, three, bringing it halfway, hold attention. Give me some single leg squats up and down. Stick your left bum cheek back in space like you're sitting on that chair and drive those left hips forward. Squeeze the glute here, going back, and forward, 20 more seconds, squeeze it. We're gonna finish off this by standing up on that left leg with those standing outer thighs. All right, it's just gonna be one minute left for this left leg after this. You have 10 more seconds, up with the hips, back with the hips. Make it smaller, last eight. Make it smaller, seven, six, five, four. We're gonna stand up last minute in three, I know, I see those hearts burning in two and one. All right, guys, balance on your left leg. Hold on to something if you need to. Lift your right leg up for four. It doesn't have to be big. You're gonna feel this on both legs. If you need that chair, grab it now, hold it in front of you. All right? Wherever you are, lift your right leg. If you need to come into a little bit more of a squat to feel this, everyone's outer thighs are slightly different. Okay, all the tension on the left leg right now. The right leg is doing the moving. Almost done. One hold, one pulse in 25 seconds, guys. This is the end. We're gonna go to the other side, but we're gonna sit on our butts. So we'll get off the legs after this. 
All right, how are we doing? Are we shaking? I hope so. Ready to hold in 10, nine, eight. My left glute's starting to give up. This is where we want. In five, this is like a big clamshell. In three, hold it open to your max for five, four. Last pulse, guys, three, don't give up. Two, up and down, last 10, nine, eight. You're gonna sit on your bum. We're going to that upright row with the right arm. In three, two. All right, guys, shake it off, shake it off, shake it off. Amazing. All right, so I want you to lie back on your mat. You're gonna sit on your butt. Your right foot comes into your resistance band. You hold on with your right hand. You might wanna double up twice or three times. Lean back and pull. So think of this as a single arm row. Pull your right elbow back. We're here for a minute. Chest is tall, you're leaning back halfway. Slowly resist for four. If it's not enough tension, double up on the arms. Pull back. Or grab a different resistance band. 45 seconds. All right, you wanna add your twist in here. As you lean back, rotate. Feel that right oblique starting to warm up as well. Slowly come back to center. All right, so we're working the bicep here as well as the back. 30 seconds. If you wanna lift both legs up, if that worked for you last time, if you really wanna challenge your core, those hip flexors will be on here. 20 seconds, we pulse it. Then we keep our foot on the mat. We're gonna go into that upright row in our kneeling position. 15 seconds. Rotate, twist, resist. Pulsing in 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, ready, twist to the right. One inch forward, one inch back. 10, nine, right shoulder, right oblique. Five, four, right foot stays in that band. In three, two, one. Come into your, find 90 degree bend with both knees. Start to lift your right elbow to the side. Don't worry how high up it goes. If you wanna release the tension a little bit, keep that right shoulder down. Lift, palm faces the floor. Don't let your wrist bend, okay? Slowly resist without losing the tension. 40 seconds here. If you wanna tuck your back toes under and hover the back knee, feel free to. That's it. Dig into that right heel, resist. So lower body with upper body here today, just to be very efficient with our workout. 25 seconds, one little pulse. We're gonna go into that variation of our lunging row. We're gonna keep the elbow close to our body after this pulse. You have 15 seconds. Relax your neck. Ready to pulse this. In five. In four. In three. Maybe hover that back knee, pulse that right arm up. Up, do it from the shoulder, not your neck. Six, five, four, we're all gonna tuck the toes under in three, two. All right, tuck your toes under, pull your right elbow back to your side, stand up for four. So think of this as your lunging row, come up and pull that right arm back. Similar to that first one, now we're getting a little bit more like a super lunge. Lift that right elbow, push into the floor. Think of your right glute, right arm, right oblique. Squeeze, slow resist. Lean forward slightly and stick your bum cheek back as you come down. 45 seconds here, guys, one pulse. Lift and pull. Whole body is working. How are we doing? Are we having some fun here at the group together? I know I am. 15 seconds. We're gonna pull it back and hold it while we pulse our legs. You're gonna focus on the right leg here. In 10, in nine, in eight, in seven, ready. Six, five, four. Pull that right arm back, give me a little twist rotation. Right knee bends down. Push up with that right leg. You need to shorten your stance to really feel us on the right leg here. 15 more seconds. We're going into our deadlifts after this. So we're gonna take the hands both into each loop of our resistance band. In five, in four, deadlifts coming up. In three, 
in two, and one. Good, unwind your bands, hold on to both ends, anchor onto that right foot, can be on the floor or just your mat here. Lift your back leg up, balance. Straighten that left leg, keep a tiny bend in your right leg. We have a minute here, lean forward for four, for three, two. Remember that left hip doesn't lift higher than the right one. Try to keep both feet on the same track. Okay, so don't let your foot come behind you too much. Feel those inner thighs working. If you did your bicep curl last time, or if you did that, you want a little bit of triceps, squeeze back as you come up. Option to bring the knee up and kick it out. All right, let's breathe through this for another 40 seconds. All right, so here we are, 35 seconds. Spread the toes, feel the whole corners of your right foot on the floor. We have two pulses, first one with the arms, second one with that standing leg. In 15 seconds, you're gonna lean forward. Can you get your back leg active as the front leg? Your standing knee should never lock, so keep a tiny micro bend here. Ready to knee, knee down in five, four, three, two. Come down to the bottom, belly, core tight. Find little curls with the arms or little tricep presses. We pulse this in five, in four. Right leg bends in three like you're sitting in your chair in two. Little sit back and up. Back and squeeze. Seven seconds from now, we're going into that elevator or express lunge in three, two, and one. All right, guys, let your left toes come behind you. Lift up your heels, square off your hips. Sit back for four. Stick your right hip back faster than the left. Lift your belly, maybe give me a curl with the arms. Come up for four, up for three. Remember when you come up, you don't wanna stand up and hang out here. You wanna stay in the tension, stay in the work. Your inhale comes down. Four, three, two. You need your chair, grab your chair. Come up for four, for three. 30 more seconds like this, guys. So just lunging it out, breathing for sure. Down for four. 20 seconds from now, we come to the bottom, we find our carriage kicks, all right? Hips are square, so don't let that right hip kind of hike up. Push it down, left hip comes forward. Ready to carriage kick, in three, in two. You knee at the bottom of your lunge, come down. Lean forward, sit your booty back, pull that back leg in and curl the arms if you can. If not, you can release your bungee if you need to and just focus on that kick. Amazing guys, 25 seconds, curling in and out. The right knee stays bent like you're sitting in that chair. Your booty gets lots of work here. 20 seconds, slowly glide in for four. Remember we stand up for that eight count together. In 10, nine, eight, seven, don't beat me, five, four, left leg straight, come to the very bottom, stand up for eight, seven, six, Five, this is the liberty burn. Three, squeeze it at the top, go down for eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one more time, come up eight. Seven, six, you have one more pulse. You have three, two, one last time guys, inhale down for eight. Seven, six, five, last pulse in four, three, two, hold it down, go down one inch and up one inch. 10, we've got our heavy skater in six. In five, you're gonna put your left foot into that loop. In three, in two, and one. Turn to face me, step on that right foot, put your left foot in the bungee loop, sit back. You might want your chair here for this. All right, you're in your squat. You're sitting back and you're kicking that left leg out. Okay, so if you want more tension, step your right foot closer to the anchor point and kick away. All right, so what this looks like from the side again is that you're actually sitting back. You're not letting your knee come forward. You're sitting back and pushing to the side. I usually bring one hand to my hip, one hand to my knee to put myself in position. And I really think about the core here. Okay, if your back hurts at all, get that chair in front of you. Push out for four. 
Push up for three. Push up for two. Resist it back, guys. 30 more seconds. Come in for four. Come in for three. Anytime you need the break versus wanting the break, take it. Okay, because I can't see you. I mean, I'm psychic. I can see you, but I can't actually see you. So try your best not to cheat here. You're only cheating yourself, right? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Send it all the way out and pulse it. One inch in and out. In and out. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. All the way out, all the way in, guys. Give me a little bit more. 20 more seconds in and out. If you need a moment, take it. Come back. We've got our split squats in 10 seconds. We're gonna hold it halfway open and squat that right leg in five, four, three. Hold it out, keep the tension, squat all the way to the bottom. Drive the right hip forward. Okay, don't push, but just extend through the glute. The contraction is what extends the hips, not your hip flexor. Try not to aggravate it. 20 more seconds. Almost there, guys. We have one more minute after this. We're gonna make this smaller. In five, four, sit back into your hips. Ready, up one inch, down one inch. 10, nine, one more minute here. In five, you might want that chair. In three, two, all right, standing at her thighs. You can always adjust the tension by moving your foot closer to the right. Right leg has a slight little bend in it. You're up nice and tall. Left leg for four. One minute, let's start it now, three, Two, press into that right foot strongly. Try not to let your hips kind of dump to the right. Keep the hips stable, resist it back and keep the tension. 15 seconds in guys. This is the end. Mainly focused here on the glutes. If you need to sit a little lower to feel this, do what you gotta do. Halfway there, we're gonna make it, hold it and pulse it in about 15 seconds. Okay, so we have a five second hold, we have a 10 second pulse and it's done. We're gonna flush this out with some burpees for one minute. In five, four, ready, hold it up to the top for five, four, three, last pulse, go 10, nine, eight, you're gonna take your foot out of the bungee, we got one minute of burpees, four, three, two, amazing job guys, take it out. Stand at the very top without any mats or anything like that. Give me three or four squats. Just flush it out. Your hands come down to the floor and you slide your feet back slowly. Find the tension here, slow. Optional push up. Pike or bear your knees back to the top. Five squats. Whew. All right, so let's just pick up that heart rate. We have about five minutes left of class here. We've got a good oblique stack. Give me that pike or that bear. Slowly slide out. Bend those elbows if you want. Slide it in slow. If you want to do a couple of those, if you want to do more squats, more push-ups, if you want to go a little faster here, that's totally fine. You have about 40 seconds left. If you want to do an actual burpee and hop back, that's fine too. If you want a little bit extra, we don't usually do plyo at Legree, but if you want it, this is the time to pick up that heart rate. 20 seconds here, guys, you're almost there. Nice job. Squats and push-ups, 15 seconds. Sliding it back. Breathing, 10, nine. We're gonna find a dancing bear, so we're gonna stay in that plank in five, four, three, two, Send your legs back, bring them together. Touch your heel, big toe mounds in your thighs. Twist your knees to the left, crunch for four. Lift and crunch for three. Halfway in is enough. Inhale, straighten those legs, three. You're gonna twist to the right. So we're dancing from left to right. Twist to the right with those knees. Three, two. This one's kind of hard to see, but you're twisting your lower body. You're crunching about halfway in. You're straightening your legs. Twisting back to the left. All right, so your shoulders are the weakest link here. I want you to keep your shoulders square as you just twist and rotate the lower body. Okay, so the last few minutes, we're gonna be doing left and right oblique together. 20 more seconds, take breaks when you need to. If you need to drop to your knees, put them on a towel or a mat. 
and just crunch into the left and crunch into the right. All right, 10 seconds. We pendulum swing those knees from left to right. Coming up in five, in four, in three, in two. Halfway, hold your hovering bear. Twist to the left. Inhale, twist to the right. Don't move your shoulders. 10 more seconds here. You're gonna come down to your elbows. We're gonna find a low plank and then turn it into hip dips. In three, in two, and one. You might want your forearms on your mat. Straighten your arms, legs, sorry, hold the plank. Lift your belly, tuck your tail, squeeze your butt. Hips drop to the left. Hips lift back up to center, drop the heels. Back to center, lift up and squeeze. If you want a little more, pike up and over and down. Up and over and down. 20 more seconds of these hip dips, up and over. Up and over, slow, nice job guys. Big rainbows with your hips. All right, we're gonna turn into side plank. If you need to be on your knees or stay on your feet, in five. In four, in three, right elbow down, come into a side plank. Hold your side plank. I just want you to hold and breathe. Push through your right elbow, lift your neck up, hold it. Squeeze your right oblique closer to your right hip. The knees can stack if you need to. Let's thread this needle. Take your top hand underneath you. Exhale, rotate left chest down, right ribs up. Inhale, lift up, squeeze. 30 more seconds, guys, slowly down. We're gonna pulse it at the end. So breathing through this, 20 more seconds. We're gonna go right to the other side. Do your best not to break if you don't have to. 10 more seconds, one little pulse here. Left elbow is gonna come down. Keep those abs really squeezing in. Five, four, ready, three. Lift right to the top, push into that right elbow. Eight, seven, left side plank in five. Four, transition smoothly in three. Left elbow down in two. Come to center, left elbow across. Lift your hips up and hold it. Hold it here. Left elbow presses from knees or toes. Breathe. Neck is nice and long here. Let's thread the needle in three, in two. Right arm underneath you, twist, rotate. Look down. We're here for 30 more seconds. Breathe through this. You're gonna lie on your back for your last thing. It's a bicycle crunch. All right, so last push-up class is coming up. You're gonna be off your shoulders. You got bicycle crunches for the last 45 seconds. This is the end of your class. Don't give up. 10 more seconds, one last pulse here, guys. Last chance for this left oblique. In five, in four, three. Lift it right to the top, last 10. Last nine, pulse it up, eight, seven, ready to line your back, six, five, four, three, two. All right guys, your last 45 seconds. Bring those knees up, hands to temples or ears and twist. Twist, get those shoulder blades up, off the mat if you can. Find a steady pace, left, right, left, right, left, right, let's go. Okay guys, this is the end of your class. In 20 seconds, we're gonna go faster. We're gonna burn this out. If you wanna take this up a notch, come onto the tailbone. Twist, twist, twist. Ready, double time in 10, nine, eight, seven. Double time, just the speed. In four, three, let's go. Left, right, left, right. 10, nine, eight, you're done. In seven, six, five. Four, three, two, lie on your back and bend those knees, hug them in. Close your eyes. All right, guys, you did such a good job. Stay on your back, lift your right leg up to the sky, send your left leg long, grab onto knee, ankle, or shin, find a split and point your toes, flex your toes. All right, guys, we worked out for 45 minutes together. If you want to stick around for the last few minutes for your stretch, stay here. Otherwise, we've got a slight change of schedule on Wednesday. 
It's going to be an ass and abs instead of arms and abs at 12. And a candle that would be on Friday at 8. So just make sure you're checking those stories. Let's take this right ankle across the left thigh. Flex your foot. Bring it in. And breathe. <sighs> Hope you guys enjoyed today's full body class. My name is Stephanie. I'm your lead trainer here at the Green. Among three of us, we'll be rotating some of these classes. Let's get a nice gentle twist. Twist that right knee across your body. Open to the right. See if you relax the tension. One more breath, we're gonna come back to center. Exhale, come back. Left leg up, right leg long. Find a nice line split. Point your toes, flex your toes. So if you guys are interested, we've got virtual privates happening. There's also a mega former rental. If you have any questions, email Jen at Studio Green. Let's take that ankle across. Flex your foot. Press that knee gently away. Just connect back to your breath. Always thanking yourself for coming and making the time to do this for yourself. Ready to take that twist, get that right foot down, get extended long, twist to the right. Can you keep that left shoulder down on the floor here? <sighs> Hope you guys got a sweaty shake today. So you get a little combination of upper lower body and core. Hope you enjoyed that full body infusion. One more breath. All right, you're gonna keep rolling onto that side. Sit yourself up. Come onto your knees or your feet, whatever you would like. Stretch tall. Reach over to one side. You're welcome to step behind you if you want. Breathing through that whole side of your body, getting through the back. Come back up. Step your right foot behind you. Grab that right wrist. Thank you so much for joining us. We're going to do one more beautiful stretch here for the shoulders. Feet about hip distance or wider. Take them behind your back. Lift up your chest and fold. Shake off any excess tension from your neck. You can bend your knees. Lunge left to right here if you want. Our final breath together. You're going to let your arms dangle down. Bend the knees and roll up. Biggest breath you've taken all day. Give yourself a huge high five. Give yourself credit for making it here. Thank you guys so much. Send it out. Have a good rest of your Monday. We'll see you Wednesday for Ass and Abs at 12.